Nothing quite like freshly processed beeswax. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Let's go. That's a beautiful walk of wax right there. What you see here is what's left of the wax cappings from our honey harvest a couple of weeks ago. As you can tell, the bees have cleaned it up and it's just, the cappings are beautiful. Um, it was really nice and flaky. Can't leave them out here much longer, they'll start to get moldy. I've already processed a, a couple of blocks of wax out of this, uh, these cappings, so there's not near as many here as there were. You can see here I got some frames too where the extractor blew these deep frames out when I harvested when we harvested and so I'm going to pull the wax out of there as well um, these were brand new frames with wax foundation and the extractor did a number on them so uh, I'm going to try and just kind of scrape the wax out of there and and get that process as well what I do is I put it in a in a paint filter this is actually the, one of the filters we used when we did the honey that's been laying out here a little while so it's not looking super, super great, but um, I'll show you how I do this process. I'm going to fill this thing up with wax cappings, take it in, and I'll show you the next step here in just a minute. Here's my setup. So as you can see, these are the box of wax we've already done from these cappings. Look how pretty that is. Pretty golden wax. It's beautiful. This one right here on the top is a little bit prettier, I think, but they're both really nice. This one we might have gotten a little too hot, although it turned out fine, the one on the bottom. But I don't know, that's gotta be, I haven't weighed it, probably three or four pounds of wax. Each one of those, I think, I don't know. What I do is we use a crock pot here. It's just designated as my wax melter, pretty much. And I use these ice cream buckets right there to put them in to process them. And right here we have the old slum gum, they call it. This is the, kind of the waste from the first two meltings of the wax um, right here. And here are the cappings I just scraped out back there that were outside that were cleaned up. So these are the next ones we're gonna process. So let's kind of stuff them down in there in the filter. See, the filter grabs all the slum gum. It saves you having to melt it down a bunch of times. And I'll just put it like this for a while. I do like to pour a cup of water about like this on there and uh, may let it melt a little bit first. There we go. Just pours down through the wax into the crock pot. The first block I did this year, the one on the bottom down there, I forgot to put water in it and I had to work to get it unstuck from the bottom of the uh, mold, or the bottom of the ice cream container. The second one I put a cup just like that in it and it popped right out really easily this one right here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn the crock pot on low let it melt for a while it'll take it a long time you don't want it to get too hot or it starts to burn the wax and then it's it's not good to do that so I like to do it on low and what I found is it usually melts it almost all the way down this crock pot is old I don't think it gets as hot as a lot of crock pots do. So it has a hard time melting the wax completely down. And so it'll get almost completely melted and then I'll turn it to high for just a little while and let it finish melting. And then I go ahead and do the next step. So this will melt down. It looks like a lot in there now, but I haven't really mashed it together a lot. So it will compress down and should end up being a block about that size. So we're gonna leave it alone a while and let it melt down and then we'll show you the next step. So we went ahead and poured that from last night in here and you can see it's looking really good. And we got some more going. I'm gonna show you how we do this. So, here we go. So you got this fabric here, I think it's muslin. And um, first thing we do, so we've got the old slum gum here. We use this uh, filter. 
We'll just filter this out like this. Try and get as much of it out as we can. Take the get this out of here like this, and we dump it on top of the fabric. fabric up and it filters through like this pretty gold wax This block probably won't be as big. There's not as, there wasn't as much in this last but, uh, these last cappings. So that's how we do it. We'll just let it sit. And it'll cure like this. I'll show you how I take it out of the container after a while. Here's a block of wax after it's cooled and cured. If you look down here, the water underneath is kind of a dark, kind of a brown color. I don't know if that, what that's from, probably the little tiny particles of propolis that might have escaped through the fabric, but that's pretty normal when we do it this way. And uh, so now we're gonna remove this wax and see what it looks like after removal. Okay, let's get this wax out of here. Use a knife to kind of release it from the plastic. It tends to stick to the plastic just a little bit. There's that brown water coming over the top. Goes right in the middle. You wash that brown water off. You can take a knife or a scraper. You can just kind of remove that little brown film that's on there. Kind of like this. And it's really, you probably not like going down your sink. So you can just wash and clean it really good. Sometimes you see this will come off, or you might need to scrape it just lightly, but you can see that's a beautiful block of wax right there. And that's how we do it. So that's... I appreciate you watching my channel. On the next video. Okay, I went ahead and let it uh, cook overnight and it did completely melt. I put the lid on it, it's still on low. Um, it didn't seem to want to melt on low without the lid, so I put the lid on it. As you can see, it's done. What we do now, is just pour it into this container right here. Like this. What am I doing? How are you doing? So it kind of is tight against the plastic, so you got to kind of separate it like this. Let's see some of that. Sometimes you kind of have to sticks pretty good here sometimes. Oh, 
it to kind of detach around the edges. And of course it's being difficult this time. a little bit easier than this. Here it is. It's a little bit dark on the bottom. Usually to scrape that off, it's a little bit of darkness. You can see how pretty a block of wax that is. And besides a little bit of the dark brown on the bottom, which you can easily scrape off, that's probably some fine propolis there. Little knife to scrape it off. It's a perfect block of wax. 